Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. What is happening now in Western Armenia, Artsakh, Republic of Armenia is under the responsibility of Armenians of the whole world. The ceremony of commemoration of the victims of genocide of Armenians will be held in the French city of Draginyan. In Western Armenia, the ancient city of Zogmatar in Urfa was left to the mercy of fate. Interview of Council of Western Armenia in Argentina, Guillermo Caramanyan. 13 years have passed since the massacre in Adana. Easter was celebrated in Armenia. Today is the International Day of Monuments and Attractions. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. On Western Armenia TV, the president of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, spoke about the consequences of the genocide carried out in Western Armenia against the indigenous Armenians, the denial of which and non-fulfillment of compensation in 2020 led to a number of war crimes committed during the Artsakh War by Azerbaijan and Turkish army and a massacre of civilians. Mr. Abraham noted that the year 1915, marked as the beginning of the genocide pogroms, reminded that in fact the human massacre began in the late 18,000s in Sassoon, Van, and other areas. Referring to peace treaty being discussed by Armenia and Azerbaijan, he said that today Azerbaijan is following an aggressive path, moving along the Batumi Treaty, and in this case, when this treaty has no force, on the basis of which Azerbaijan has opened an appetite. But if this continues, the genocide will again be with physical and serious territory losses. Those political forces that have abandoned the issue of Western Armenia are now responsible for the state of Artsakh. Chairman of National Council of Western Armenia, Armenak Abraman, Chairman of the Armenian Friendship Association, named after Draginyan, Gerard Berend, Chairman of Armenian Region, the Assembly of Armenians of Western Armenia, the Association of Armenian Veterans, invite you to participate in a commemoration ceremony of the victims of genocide of Armenian people, which will be held in Draginyan on Friday, April 22, at 5 p.m. Before the Armenian Monument Des Alice Dazemar and the Chairmanship of Mayor of Draginyan, Richard Strambio, the ceremony will be held according to the protocol. The ancient city of Sohmatar, located 53 kilometers from Haran in Urfa, Western Armenia, not only sheds light on history, but also attracts with beautiful architecture. Despite the fact that ancient city is included in a list of culture and historical heritage, it is left to oblivion and indifference. According to some information, the Sohmatar was built in the 2nd century. The settlement built in this area of Tech Tech Mountains during the reign of Asroyan, where most of representatives of the ruling generation bore the name Abgar served as a center of worship to gods of moon and earth. In winter, there is a lot of precipitation in Sohmatar. For this reason, rainwater collected in numerous reservoirs have been survived to the present day, satisfies the needs of livestock for water grazing in the mountains in the summer months. Hills with some inscriptions preserved in Sohmatar, historical buildings with various sculptures, are surrounded by stone houses. As part of Radio Armenia Eterna, program which is broadcast to all Armenians of the world living in Brazil, Western Armenian Council Argentina, Guillermo Caramanian gave an interview to the host Sarkis Karamekian. According to Karamanian, Western Armenia today is a continuation of the Armenian state in 1920 and a cradle of the Armenians of Western Armenia. He presented the Western Republic of Armenia as the only influential measure through which we can not only return our lands but also restore the consequences of the genocide to achieve comprehensive justice. Thanks to Karamanian's interview, a part of Armenian people also learned how Western Armenia was formed and whose main members are the President Armenak Abramian, Prime Minister Seda Melikian and Foreign Minister Lida Markosyan. Mr. Consul was asked question, which he kindly answered. The massacre in Adana took place in April 1909 against the Armenian population of Adana and the Aleppo Vilayets of Western Armenia. Organized by the Turkish authorities, the Armenian of Adana and Cilicia in general resisted the programs of 1819s in self-defense, were able to advance in economic, culture and social spheres, concentrating the trade and industry of the region in their hands. The Turkish regressive forces began to devastate the Armenians because of the seizure of power from the Turks and the restoration of the 
Armenian Kingdom. On the eve of the massacre, the authorities distributed a large amount of weapons and ammunition of the Muslim population. On April the 1st, the Turkish crowd destroyed the streets, squares and neighborhoods of the city and began the massacre of Armenians. The first massacre lasted 15 days and second massacre in May again 15 days. About 30,000 people became victims of massacre in Adana, of which more than 20,000 were in the village of Adana. Dozens of Armenian populated towns and villages were destroyed and burned. On April 17th, the Armenian Apostolic Church celebrated Holy Easter everywhere, which is the largest and holiest holiday in Christian world. Millions of believers visited churches and glorified Jesus once again with their faith and faithfulness. According to church law, the Monday after Easter is considered Remembrance Day. Today, the Armenian people commemorate their deceased relatives and friends together. The International Day of Monuments and Attractions is celebrated on April 18th. In 1983, it was adopted the decision of the UNESCO General Assembly. On this day, various events are held around the world, visits to World Heritage Sites and Monuments, conferences, cleaning of monuments and attractions, and round tables. This provides an opportunity to raise public awareness of the diversity of world heritage and efforts to preserve and protect it. Western Armenia, with its rich culture and natural heritage, truly deserves to occupy an important place among those countries that have something to say to generations and the world with their history and cultural heritage. Dear compatriots, patriotic sons of Western Armenia, the leadership of Western Armenia remaining true to its idea and principles continues to present various events related to the history, present and future of our country to you in the new way through television and online platforms, inform the political and public events of the government, and also gives you the opportunity to communicate with each other and more closely. Through our television, you can establish direct communication with the government and members of the National Assembly. You can raise issues of concern to you that are directly related to Western Armenia and its citizens. You can also make various interesting proposals. We want to remind you that our television is not engaged in self-promotion, but wants to further expand its capabilities and connections. Your support is a victory for all of us. Together we can do more. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.